Family Tree DNA released its new population finder, which is actually called, now called My Origins. And I've been comparing uh, my results with the results I've gotten from um, Ancestry.com and my cousin's results from 23andMe. Um, these were my previous results from the population finder, which um, are different from what I'm getting with the, my, the new My Origins um, tool. According to um, the old population finder, I was 13.66% Middle Eastern with an error rate of 1% um, plus or minus. And I was um, Native American 5.23% um, with an error rate of possibly point, um, 0.33 plus or minus. When we look at my results now, it says a new world, which I, would be my Native American, it says 3%. So that's less than, than the 5% and um, doesn't fall within their error rate. Middle Eastern now is only 4% instead of 13%. And um, it's not within the error rate that they gave me either. The African um, is now 2%, which I had no African on the previous population finder. There was no African. And now I have 2% African, which um, would be correct because uh, my haplogroup for mtDNA is African. So I know that we do have Africans. So um, that would seem to agree. So that's an agreement there. So that, that is better than before. But as you see on um, at Ancestry.com, um, they gave me 6% Native American, which is closer to the 5% that um, I had before for the Family Finder. And my cousin, um, who is also Native American, on the same side as I am, um, she has 5.2% from 23andMe, which falls within um, what the the family finder gave us. Um, my cousin did not get any Middle Eastern um, in family finder. And I might have got a trace of Middle Eastern. I can't remember here. Here. Trace regions. I'm not really sure. But, um, yeah, I really didn't get anywhere near like 13% um, Middle Eastern at Ancestry.com either. See trace regions. So it says European Jewish is one percent. Um, I don't see. Uh, let me see. I don't see Middle Eastern. So it seems like um, family tree DNA is backing down on the Middle Eastern anyway. So I would say that um, the Native American probably is not um, correct. It's probably closer to 5%. My family came from Central America, so I would guess that um, Native American would fall somewhere around 5%. So I would disagree with that. And with my European, right now it's it's quite um, vague on, on exactly where the European ancestry falls. But honestly, I think this is um, probably more accurate because you can't really break it down into countries. I mean, Breaking it down into regions, genetic regions, is probably going to be the better way to go anyway. Um, this is brand new, so and I, it hasn't really rolled out completely. It may break down even um, more. They may have a better breakdown than this, but I think that this kind of breakdown um, is honest.
so otherwise it's pretty close to, they're all getting closer, um, 23andMe, Ancestry, and uh, Family Tree DNA are getting closer to um, having the same results. Like I was saying before, that um, Ancestry breaks it down and gives a range of possibilities like 11 to 61 percent Great Britain, 10 they're giving me Senegal, um, that's through Ancestry.com. Um, right now, um, I'm only getting Niger, Congo through um, Family Finder, and it may get more specific. Click on the region, it gives you a description. And 23andMe did not um, give my cousin a, only says Sub Saharan African, West Africa. Um, they didn't give a country in Africa. And like I said, it's actually it's impossible to break down. Um, the DNA based on country alone, I mean, um, it's more regional than, um, you no know, political, um, than political geography. That's, poli the political geography is different than the genetic geography. wait and see um, what kind of changes they make after the rollout. I, I suspect they're making going to make some changes and like I said probably add some more populations and break it down maybe a little bit more a little bit more ethnically. I can have missed my, um, my Austro-Hungarian ancestry. Uh, my Austrian ancestors were from the border area of Austria and Hungary, kind of right down, right around here. And none of the companies picked up that ancestry. It would be Eastern European and um, Ashkenazi Jewish. And I should be like one quarter um, of that heritage. Although I could have um, inherited less than that. I would not think that, I would think that I would still have a substantial amount of that ancestry, even if it's less than a quarter, it should be visible, and it's not even visible. Um, also, um, one, of, one of my grandmothers um, was about 90% Spanish, like she was like 2% um, African, and I would say that she's probably about 15, um, or oh, you know, I'm two percent African. Should be about, let me see, maybe eight to ten percent African, and um, about five per, or so maybe it's less than that, and maybe about twenty percent um, Native American. So, well, she might have been seventy percent Spanish. I have to rethink that too because she's part German also. So she had the German, the Spanish, and the African. So she was kind of um, mixed ethnically. 
but still, she would have a substantial amount of Spanish, and, and I should have trace amounts of, of um, Iberian Peninsula um, ancestry. So I would think that should be showing up in my genetic results, and it's not. So it's hard to figure out why that's not showing up. I would think that she would have at least 50 to 60 percent um, Iberian heritage. And that hasn't showed up on my results or my mother's um, results. So we look into to that. Yeah, and that's about all. I mean, otherwise, it has picked up, um, you know, my Irish ancestry. And I believe that it picks up the ancestry that is um, the most commonly um, held ancestry of, of the people who test with the company. I mean, most people who test are Western European. So I'm having problems um, with my um, Mediterranean and Eastern European populations. I just don't think enough of those people have tested. I mean, they don't have enough, um, enough of a sample of those um, populations. So I'm hoping that in the future we have more people testing in those those regions and maybe we'll get some better results. Because I, I when they start showing up when my Spanish and um, my Austro Hungarian start showing up, then I'll I'll believe the tests are, are getting very very reliable.